what is dialectical materialism and what's the difference between historical and dialectical materialism wow. and are they the same all right wow all right what's the two-minute version of that uh right so, <laughs> sorry it's okay it's okay uh yeah all right let's let me take a swing at that and then um and then we can we can see you know, we can see this as a preview of coming attractions and we can come back and, Wait, and talk awesome. about it for real, you know, at a later date. Perfect. So, uh, so yeah, I think that um, materialism is as opposed to idealism. Uh, so I, I think, you know, with, without, you know, flattening some, some important distinctions too much, I, th I think that it's, I think that at the core of it, it's about having an analysis of what happens in the world that doesn't center the subjective ideas that are in people's heads as much as it does, uh, as much as it centers the underlying uh, facts about material reality. And in particular, when it comes to, um, you know, Marxist materialism, you know, what you're talking about with historical or dialectical materialism uh, emphasizes the, the power relations between different economic classes as, as, a, uh, as, as the sort of core of the the analysis, which actually goes right back to what we were talking about, right? You know, that's, that's, it's, it's a very, you know, in a way it's the same subject. Uh, so, um, and so historical materialism is applying, you know, this kind of analysis to history and in particular the ways that, uh, that different modes of production, which basically just means like ways of organizing an economy uh, have risen and fallen over the course of history, not just because history is interesting, but because we're interested in seeing what we can learn from that for what the possibilities might be for the future, for, uh, for you know, in particular, you know, what, what Marxists have been interested in is, is the possibility that, um, that we can overcome capitalism and replace with socialism. Uh, and what it means to, to call that analysis dialectical is that uh, it has um, is that you have an analysis of these things that really emphasizes the ways in which uh, some of these some of these historical facts some of these power relations these these, these systems that you're analyzing uh, are are fluid uh, are in a constant uh, state of uh, of change uh, and and in, and that there can be like tension points within them that create the possibility uh, for um, you know for more fundamental uh, ki kinds of change and 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 I realize that that last sentence you know can can sound like, you know, I, I think that could just sound like word salad, right? If, if you know, yep. detached, detached from from any sort of particular uh, examples. You know? So, uh, so I, I think that in, I think that in probably that a bad question to start out with Marxism, just because it, it's the only thing I, it's the one of the things that I've just had a lot of confusion about when sure no that, that that's that's that's, to, that's that's totally fair like like it again let's let's when, when we do this again let's let's start here but i have but i, I think sure. that uh but but i think that when you talk about having an, a, a historic materialist analysis of history uh be dialectical um i think that what you're mostly talking about is is emphasizing uh, the idea that um, that what's going on at, at any given historical moment uh, shouldn't be seen as this totally static kind of snapshot. This is the way things are. Uh, that it should be seen in terms of um, what it has been, what it's becoming, uh, and and that kind of of more fluid analysis that, that really emphasizes change. And in particular, I think a lot of this gets gets, gets a lot clearer when you start thinking about like, uh, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm trying to be real careful here because because everything that I'm saying is not like, um, 
you know, I, even though I've tried to be careful about this, I'm sure plenty of stuff that I'm saying is, is still that, you know, like different people who read some of the stuff differently would nitpick lots of things that I just said, but, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stick with the sort of minimal, you know, I, I think the stuff that's that, that most people would, that there'd be the most agreement on, uh, you know, I, I think that, I think that it's most helpful to understand what's going on there if you understand it, particularly in terms of uh, in terms of class struggle and, and the way that the that the conflict uh, between uh, between the interests of different classes within society can create these these possibilities uh, for uh, for for changing you know from from one society to to another. And I'm not totally satisfied with that explanation. But yeah. I think that's I think that's probably a good place to uh, to leave it off. Actually, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll leave off with this. It, I don't I don't agree with everything in it. Uh, if if you read my my book, give them an argument. I, I I you know pick some large nits with some of it. But I think for but I think for a, a pretty accessible thing explanation, that's that's pretty good in many ways. Uh, I think uh, there's a essay by uh, Leon Trotsky. Uh, that's that's available for free online. You can go to the Marxist Internet Archive. That's Marxist.org. It's called the ABCs of Dialectical Materialism, and and I think that that's like a you know even though there are things in there that I disagree with, I think it's a good starting point for thinking about this.